Hey guys, um, firmware update for DJI Spark July 2018. I was away a couple days ago, went to go use the Spark, it said I was due for a firmware update. I didn't know if it was even going to take off because it was in the top left corner where uh, it says no fly zone and all that good stuff. But once you go to take off, that goes away and then it shows your um, green for your hooked up to the GPS and stuff. So um, yeah, you can still fly it if you get prompted. But um, you get home on your Wi-Fi or something, you just hit the download now. It'll download it to your phone. That's what I did anyways. I didn't plug it into a computer. You hit the download now. Then you, uh, after it's done, you just connect it to your remote and the aircraft. Hit, hit next. It'll do the remote or aircraft. I forget which one first, but it doesn't matter. I think it does the uh, remote first, and then it'll say uh, down or update successful. Then it does the aircraft, uh, update successful. Turn them both off, turn them both on again, and you're good to go. Only only difference I found so far is that it's uh, OTG enabled now for Android. So I use my Pixel 2. I've got my OTG cable here in the remote, and I had it a long time ago, but it never really worked, so I just kept it in my case. Um, but now I'm happy to see that it does work. Don't have to have the Wi-Fi on on the phone. Just connect it. Image transfer is perfect. Um, I don't know if it'll help you out with the range. I'm hoping, but uh, who knows. So that's the only difference that I found so far. Um, I put the video together because I went on YouTube to try to look for any differences in the, the new firmware and I couldn't find a video so just throwing this one out there. If anybody notices anything different or that was added and I, I missed just put it in the comments below and uh, happy flying. See you guys.